This show is something that hit me hard. This show is something I will not be forgetting anytime soon. This show is a masterpiece. This video will be more in relation to me and if that doesn't interest you, then you may go right now. But anyhow, today I'll be talking about how this show has made me appreciate slice of life anime more. Today I'll be talking about how this show tackles themes in a way I would never expect. Today I'll be talking about why I adore this anime from the bottom of my heart. The first thing we will of course talk about is what the anime is about to keep you at the same level as me. The anime is about regret, grief, jealousy, and lastly, death. Each subject represents a character or a group of characters. I want to say now I will usually say who it represents in the beginning, middle, or end of each paragraph. So all I gotta say is listen to the video. Anyhow, there's so much more that you can add to that, but those are the main points that I want to talk about in this video. Those are the themes that go on through the show. Now the plot is that years later a friend that has passed away has come back. Minma is her name and she has come back to have a wish done. I hope you can see how all those themes are placed into the anime. Now let's talk more about the themes and characters. I just want to say that right now I chose these four points because they are the ones that hit the closest to me. They are the ones that I can relate to the most and that is the point of slice of life of course. First thing we will talk about is jealousy. I choose jealousy because I believe it's the one that is powerful to me, but not as powerful as the others. Jealousy in this show is a big plot. In this show, jealousy is something major in the friend group. Jealousy is human nature and jealousy is something most of all people will go through in their life at least once. You may be jealous that a friend seems to get more love than you. You may get jealous that your friend gets into more relationships than you. Those are all human nature things, as I said before. But in this show, jealousy is something more. Jealousy is the cause of relationships breaking. Jealousy in a small type of way is the cause of the death to Minma. This jealousy had broken up the friend group in such a way it's heartbreaking. I believe this hit me because I always envied some of my friends because it seemed like I was never invited to some events. I was never the one to get girls like some other friends. I was never the one to make people smile as much as others did. I was never the one to get the girl I loved in our friend group. Those are some of the jealous things I've done. Because of those things, I would leave my friend group sometimes. It would cause the friend group to just break down slowly. I'm not saying I was a crutch to the relationships. I'm not saying I was the most important person. I'm saying I was a piece of the chessboard, gone. That's the same for Minma. She was someone who was like the queen, but also the pawn. She was a major part and I was a major part. She was a little part and I was a little part. Jealousy was the cause of the super peace busters breaking apart. Before we go on to the next one, I want to say this part was about Yukiatsu, Naruko, and Chiriko. They each were jealous of another person in the group which in a way played into their downfall. But who can blame 10 year old kids that wouldn't know or 17, 6 year old kids, teenagers that wouldn't know. Grief is one I know many people haven't gone through. Grief is something people will have never experienced, unfortunately and fortunately. And that's heart crushing. But every person deals with grief in a different way. Some may deal with it by dressing as a person they have lost. It may be pitiful, it may be pathetic, but who's the one to judge how someone deals with a loved one's death? This is one of the biggest plot points in anime. Yukiatsu is a cross dresser. Not because he's a creep, even though I thought he was at first. Yukiasu cross dresses because he can't move on. He cross dresses because he loved Minma and he never wanted to see her go. He cross dresses because it seems to be the only comfort he has at this point. Would it be fair to judge him on that? I don't know. But I do know what it's like to lose someone you love. But I wouldn't start cross dressing. Doesn't mean someone you may or may not know won't start to do it since it's the only thing they have. But that doesn't mean that's the only way someone can go through grief. It's just one way someone in this anime goes through grief. Let's look at Junta now. He relates to me more than Yukiatsu and that's because after the death he blamed himself 
more and more and ended up leading himself into a life he would never expect. He ended up becoming something like a hermit, always cooped up in his house by himself. He had no friends, he had no one except his father, which is why I understand him being by himself so much. That's the way he was trying to deal with the death. It may or may not have been the best way to you, but I guess you can say, if it kept him moving, then it's the best way for Jinta. Okay, now the last section of grief is about Minma's family, specifically her mother, but the whole family plays a part. Of course, Minma's mother is shown only a couple times in the show. One thing you can notice about her mother is the use of color, or I can say the lack of. Yeah, I just copied every other small creator's sentence, but who cares? Okay, but seriously, her hair and eyes and everything she wears is the polar opposite of her daughter. Here's a side-by-side -side representation. Now, the main way her mother deals with grief is by not dealing with it at all. She just lives with it instead of accepting it, which is ruining her family, specifically her son, because it seems as if she doesn't care about him. It seems she wants to deal with all the pain by herself. Regret is the one that hits me the hardest. Regret is something I believe will hurt the hardest for any child, man, or woman. I believe that because regret is something that sticks with you even after you've accepted the death of the said person. Regret can sometimes make death feel like it's your fault or that you gave that person a sad slash bad death. That is how I felt with my mother and that's how Popo feels with Minma. He feels this way because he has seen Minma when she had passed. He feels like he could have saved her but didn't because he was too afraid. I know that hurts him but regret is not only wishing you could have saved someone. Regret is also wishing you could have said one more thing, have done one more thing. That is what regret is and that is one of the most painfully gentle things to hurt me and people around the world. But it felt good to see it recognized in such a good way with Popo and its essence. Accepting death is hard to do. Accepting you have to die is hard to think about for me at least. But this show has given me a different outlook on death. This show has made me think about it more and really appreciate life. It made me appreciate life because of how heartwarming it is to have friends who will remember you when you pass. Have friends who will miss the times you guys hung out. Those are the things that I've seen in this anime. Those are the things that make me happy. But death in this show is represented by two characters. Minma, obviously, and Toko, Jinta's mother. These two characters specifically talk about death with each other. They talk about reincarnation and all of that shit. With them talking about that, it really caused me to start to think. I believe it would cause you to start thinking about it hopefully too. Thinking about reincarnation and all of that can sometimes be sad and tragic, but hearing it in such a good way can always change your mindset and hopefully change your perspective. With all that being said, I won't say too much now, but watch Anohana for a slice of life that has done more and changed my perspective. I will be doing a video on the 28th version of Baki next week. Enjoy your weekend and stay safe everyone.